As you all know by now, I have finally picked this hammer up and um, I picked it up about two weekends ago, maybe, maybe three week weekends ago, but um, I got it with a 25% off coupon. There'll be a little bit more about that later, but, uh, but be it as it may, I have not used it yet, but just how it feels in the package, I really, really like that compared to what I have. So let me open this up first. We're going to read a little bit on the package, then we're going to compare it to what I currently have and I will tell you my thoughts on the hammer and do I think that it's worth uh, the upgrade from my existing um, ball peen hammer. So all right, it says here, it says uh, shot field head for control rebound, polyurethane material resistant to most shop chemicals and wide flared handle with soft grip for secure swing. That's gonna be something I'm gonna talk about later. It says solid steel shank, extends from head through handle. Um, pretty curious that, okay, we got a number here. Got a part number here. But uh, anyway, we have a item number here. This, I guess this is the Harbor Freight item number. This may be the number from whatever it is from the factory. But anyway, 24 ounce ball peen hammer, Lifetime guarantee. I love Harbor Freight's lifetime warranty because again, just going to store and exchange it. Made in Taiwan. And um, there you have it. Now, one thing I will say about the packaging that kind of throws me off is that when I saw this hammer hanging up and when I go, to, well, not hanging up, but when I have it here, say on my bench, I think about the packaging with the hammer facing going this way, but this is actually the back of the package. For some reason, the hammer head, the hammer face facing facing that way just throws me off a little bit because I'm expecting it to be this way for for whatever reason. I, I don't know. But anyway, it's, that's just a, a some that's a personal observation to, to my taste. So let's go ahead and open this puppy up here. And um let me let me take a look at this puppy outside of the package here. So that way I can feel its grip in its full glory. But either way, now what I will say already about the hammer, based on the handle, um, it feels remarkably good compared to my existing ball peen hammer. We'll take a look at that there in a minute. Um, so a few things about this hammer already. Okay, the dead blow, it's not, it doesn't feel like there's a, I don't know what, how much uh, shots is in this head or what how what diameter those beads are but they feel it's a little bit I don't know if you can hear that let me put it in front of my give me a second here hey you can you hear that there yeah so anyway that's just an observation just so you can hear that we're going to compare it to my we're going to compare it to my other hammer here in a minute so um Right off, uh, what I can tell you is this, is that I like the grip compared to my existing hammer. So let me go ahead and, um, well, anyway, let me finish taking a once over this hammer, then we'll pull out the comparison. So I can show you why I'll say now, if you got a hammer, you might want to upgrade to any, any good type of hammer, not necessarily this one, but um, I like the face on it. The face is not too small, but it also um, kind of, Puckered kind of let me see here. I don't know if you can see that on camera. It kind of just puckers out just a tad bit I don't know what that means to be more flatter or not. But anyway, just to point it out for you all so you can see it um, I personally never it feel, and I also feel like it's coated with something as well So you see the scratches here. It's, that's okay, but um, Again far as the this side here. I never really use this side of the hammer necessarily myself um, if I have used it on a ball peen hammer, it has been quite sparingly. So anyway, that's what that looks like. Just kind of close up so you can see that. Now, let me pull out the hammer that I, my ball peen that I existing. I got this hammer here. All right. First of all, I'm going to tell you how much this costs. I bought this set here for, for about $45. Uh, just on the assumption that each hammer, like this might have been, say, worth $10, this might have been worth $15, and this one was probably worth $20. Let's put it like that, something like that. Now, if you listen to the dead blows of these hammers, 
You hear that? I feel like the shot, the shot sounds a little bit different. We're going to set this to the side. But the reason why I bought this set, I thought all three had dead blow, but this here has no dead blow in it. So that's, first of all, why I wanted to upgrade my hammer, because I do not have a dead blow ball pin hammer. They misled on that. I think this is a power built brand here in the orange. They mis uh, kind of was misleading on the package that dead blow hammer set. But the other two that I showed you were the only ones that actually had the dead blow shots in the head. This one does not. So that's the first reason why I wanted to upgrade. Second reason, it now actually is more compared, more, um, more, more relevant than that. This handle here, and let me see if I can make, if you see how much bigger the handle is here and how much more plush it is going this way when you because it's so much smaller when you grab it you have to grab it tighter so you feel like you feel some hand fatigue when you're swinging and you can actually feel the muscle in the top and bottom of your hand a little bit trying to compensate a little bit and it feels a little bit irritating now maybe if you got really callous hands and again i don't work in a shop every day maybe it might not bother you as much but when you feel this puppy right here that you don't have to squeeze it at, as hard and it feels like it's much less fatigue in your hand. All right, and you also feel like you could grab it right here and maybe do some, do some. Now this hammer, if you grab it here, it's even worse. Like it's almost like you kind of gotta, gotta grab it in some funny way with your thumb like this, but this one you can just grab it almost like you just grab down here almost, not really. So. I like the handle on this thing. The feel, it feels like all the weight here is in the head. So when you swing it, it feels like you're, you're having to kind of stop this whole head with just this leverage back here. And that doesn't feel too good once you compare it to a new hammer. This hammer right here, you feel like it's more like some of the, I guess, weight when you're trying to stop it when you're hitting is more some kind of way is like distributed down the handle somehow. So this thing feels much, this right here feels way better than this. And plus the little knurling inside of this plastic because it's kind of hard. It feels like it's kind of rubbing, kind of chafing your palm a little bit. Again, if you got really callous hands, you work in a lab, I mean, not a lab, a shop environment every day, it might not bother you. But if you're a person like me, it, it seems to be a little bit bothersome. Now, looking at this one here, this here's a little more flatter here going across compared to this one here. I don't know if you can see, I don't know if you can see. It's not, yeah, you can just see that a little bit. Uh, the, the, this side of the hammer, you get much more, you got much more area right here versus this one here. So um, again, this is, you, you can't really compare this hammer to this hammer because it's so, it's just in a different class. It's almost like trying to compare a, a Mercedes to a Pinto. Yes, they're both cars. Yes, you can drive both, but it's really not a comparison. So you, you, you can't really, I'm not trying to compare these hammers necessarily. I'm just trying to show you the difference so you can see why you might want to upgrade if you have a hammer, something like this compared to this one. So with that said, the last question, the last thing I want to address is that do I think this is worth the money? Do I think it's worth this? First of all, I say, do I think it's worth the asking price of forty nine ninety nine? I would say it depends. All right. Meaning that if you really were just bent on buying this hammer and you wanted to pay fifty dollars for it plus tax, it's not like you're going out here buying a hundred and fifty dollar hammer. So, I mean, I guess in that way, not so bad, but. What I, recommend, what I would recommend, now getting back to the 25% coupon I talked about earlier, this weekend they have a 25% coupon off at of Harbor Freight. I'm not sponsored by the, you know, Harbor Freight in any way. Um, I, if you was in the market for a new hammer like this, 100% I would say for $37.50 plus tax, absolutely this is a, to me, is a great hammer. Again, I'm not going to say it's better than any other brand or better than any other whatever, whatever, because I'm not necessarily qualified. I don't have enough experience with tools and different brands to say that. But what I can say is that 
I like this hammer for thirty seven dollars and fifty cents a hell of a lot. And I also like the fact that, you know, I know a lot of pretty much almost all hand tools, even cheaper hand tools got lifetime warranties. But nothing beats being able to just drive to the store if you really was in a pinch to go get a new replacement. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, please give it a thumbs up if you like it. But uh, I'm going to enjoy my hammer. You're going to see this hammer in action very soon. But with that said, I'm going to close this video out. Video out. You guys take care and I'll see you in the next one.